In this video, we're going to do a, this is going to be a short video that's going to look at temperature. Um, we don't, we're not going to go over all the different temperature scales, but we're going to do two things with temperature that are important. We're going to talk about um, the two main temperatures that we use. So there are three temperature scales that are popular. There's Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. Uh, the two that we're going to use are um, Celsius and Kelvin. We're going to use them for different things. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about what's the difference between Celsius and Kelvin and then how do we convert. So the temperature in Celsius scale, it kind of, just to give you a sense, um, there are two main points that we can kind of place on the scale. Um, so at zero degrees Celsius and then there's a hundred degrees Celsius. So at zero degrees Celsius, this is when we have sort of the uh, ice water transition, right? So water freezes or melts at zero degrees Celsius. So if you go below zero degrees Celsius, water will freeze. If you go above zero degrees Celsius, water will melt. And then we have 100 degrees Celsius, which is where um, water boils. So this is where we have the water uh, gas uh, phase change. So that, that scale, so that exists between zero degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. Now the Kelvin scale, if we convert this over, so this is, a, this is the Celsius over here and then over here we'll have Kelvin. So the Kelvin scale, uh, this goes to, um, at, uh, zero, to at the conversion here is at 273.15 Kelvin we have um, the same location. So uh, ice and water will freeze and melt at 273.15 and then all the way up here we have 373.15 Kelvin which is where um, the water will boil and turn into a gas or and go back. So that's the Kelvin scale. So you'll notice that there's a hundred degree separation here and there's also a hundred degree separation here. So the Celsius scale and the Kelvin scale are similar in the fact that um, the difference between freezing and, and boiling is still a hundred degrees Celsius. However, what you'll notice is that this scale has a positive value um, for where this is, whereas this is zero. Now the reason for this, and if you kind of make a graph, what happens is, is um, if this is degrees Celsius and this is Kelvin, um, so this is this is kind of a representative graph. So all the way out here, this is minus 273.15 Kelvin. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 0.15 degrees Celsius. Um, and then this is zero Kelvin. So if you track this all the way back, this can go all the way down to zero. Uh, and that's all the way out here. And then all the way up here at 273 um, degrees, at, uh, this is zero degrees Celsius. This is 273.15 Kelvin. So where you have a zero here, you have a positive number for Kelvin. Now the reason for this is because in, in a lot of equations, like for instance, um, we're gonna see this later, PV is equal to nRT. Uh, this is the universal gas law, um, PV equals nRT. The reason why we use the Kelvin scale is because what we're gonna discover is that if you have a negative value for temperature, so if you go all the way to absolute zero, which is zero Kelvin, uh, essentially at absolute zero, zero Kelvin, nothing is moving anymore. All particle motion stops at absolute zero. Um, so we're gonna write that down in a second. Um, so you can't have a negative number in this because you can't get a negative pressure and a negative volume. That doesn't make any sense. So your numbers always have to be positive. So the Kelvin scale, that, that is the case. So there is no such thing as a negative um, degree Kelvin. So absolute zero, which is equal to zero Kelvin, is where you have no particle motion. Everything is stopped. It's absolutely still. Um, this is a theoretical limit, it, and it can't be reached because of um, because of certain quantum um, restrictions. But anyway, that's another story. So there's no particle motion at zero Kelvin, so it's a theoretical limit. You can approach it, but you should never be able to get there. Um, and that means that there can be no negative uh, 
value for the temperature in, in Kelvin. And that's important because when we do calculations with PV equals nRT, that, that cannot have a negative pressure or a negative volume. So how do we convert? So the conversion is actually pretty simple. Uh, the temperature in Kelvin is going to equal the temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So, and you can kind of see that here. So whatever temperature you have in degrees Celsius, you add 273.15 to it, and that will give you the temperature in Kelvin. And you can see that here. Um, the uh, With 0 degrees Celsius and 273.15 Kelvin, the difference here is plus 273.15 to get to the same point. So you can see why we add 273.15. Okay, so that's temperature, guys. This is the last major topic in chapter one that we're going to cover in the lecture slides.